wanna celebrate. I wanna tell everyone. I just can't wait. He is my friend. He is so great. He can do any anything. I just can't wait. So I'm gonna tell everyone everywhere about the love of Jesus. Yeah, everyone everywhere. I want the world to know. Oh, everyone everywhere about the love of Jesus. So I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell that Everybody. Welcome to Sunday School. My name is Miss Rebecca. I'm so glad you could join me this morning. Uh, we are going to start with a little game called Sink or Float here. Um, let's see how well you can figure out if something's going to sink or float. We'll start with an easy one. I have a little rubber duck here. You might have one of these at home. You might have already seen this in water before, so you might know exactly what's going to happen. Do you think it's going to sink or float? Let's see. Oh, there we go. Our little friend is floating in the water. Bet you all got that one right. So, what about a quarter? You see, I got a coin here. This is metal. It's pretty small, but a little heavy. What do you think? Is this gonna sink or float? Oh, I bet you heard it clink right on the bottom of the glass bowl there because it sunk all the way to the bottom. All right, what about this? I have a plastic egg here. Pretty light. Kind of big, but let's see. What do you think? Is it gonna sink or float? Let's find out. There we go. This the plastic egg also floats in the water, just like our rubber duck. There we go. And last one, I have a spoon. If you ever dropped a spoon into a sink full of water, you might know what's gonna happen here too. Let's see. Sink or float. Oh, and you hear, hear that clink on the bottom of the bowl too? The, the spoon also sunk down to the bottom of the water there. All right, so today's story is going to be all about sinking or floating, which is why we started with this fun little game. Um, and our story is also, uh, it also shows us a time when Jesus showed his good friend Peter that he can trust God. So I bet you know who Jesus is by now. Jesus is very special because he is God's son. And while Jesus was here on earth, he did lots and lots of things to show us how much God loves us and how God hears us when we pray and how God is always with us and that we can trust God. And this is one of those stories. So Jesus' friends were in a boat on the lake at night 
and suddenly a big storm came up. There was a lot of wind and big waves. And the disciples, Jesus' friends, were very scared. They were in this boat, and they were afraid they were going to sink in this storm, these big waves. Uh, and they were they were very afraid. Can you make can you make an afraid face? Oh, I bet that's just what Jesus' friends looked like in their boat. Then something even scarier happened. They saw what they thought was a ghost, and they thought it was a ghost because this person that they saw was walking on the water. Can you walk on the water? I can't walk on the water. So when Jesus' friends saw someone walking on the water, they thought it was a ghost and they were even more afraid. Oh no. But then they heard this person say to them, don't be afraid. It's me. You guessed who it was? That's right. It was Jesus. Jesus was walking towards his friends on the water. And Peter said, this is one of Jesus' friends named Peter. He said, if it's you, Jesus, then tell me to come and walk to you on the water. And Jesus said, come. And so Peter did, he got, he focused in right on Jesus. He looked right at Jesus. He stepped out of the boat and he started walking towards Jesus on the water. And he was staying on top of the water, just like Jesus. But then, then he got distracted. He heard the wind blowing and he saw the big waves from the storm and he got afraid. And he wasn't looking at Jesus anymore and he started to sink. But then Jesus reached out and he grabbed Peter and he kept him from sinking. And Peter and Jesus got back into the boat together, and Peter was safe with Jesus. And when Jesus got back in the boat, the storm stopped, and Jesus' friends got the boat over to the other side of the lake where they had been going safely. And Jesus showed Peter and the rest of his friends that we can always trust God even when scary things happen. And that means that you can trust God too. Who can trust God? Say it with me. I can trust God. Exactly. And that's exactly what it says in our Bible verse for this month. You do the motions with me for this. Uh, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Let's do it one more time. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Exactly. All right. Great job today, guys. We will pray to wrap up our time together today. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to show us that we can trust you even when scary things happen. You are the best, God. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. See you next time.